tongue is going to be as big or bigger than a buga. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, don't think so. I, I, I know it's a nice jam. I've to, yeah. I've listened to the stupid. But then, will it be as big as bigger? No, I don't think so. Mm. You know, there's, there's that thing about when you drop something that's amazing. Yeah. And then you're under pressure yeah. to meet up to that thing. And then. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 people, what up? What's good? We're back again on Gusto Reaction. And yes, this is Gusto TV Africa, your favorite reaction channel on YouTube worldwide. Yeah, yeah, I said it. And today I go with me, Daki, uh, the one that likes to spell his name. Can you spell your name for them? D A R K I E E E E E, as much as you want to put it. All right, that's his name. He spelled it for you guys. Thank you guys so much for everything you do for us. We truly love and appreciate every one of you. You guys are the best, the very, very best. Today we got Vado Baba, hey! Baba Beta Tony Beji in the building. I like this guy. Oh my God. Kizaniel, Kizaniel's no, 2022 has no, been oh God, one of his best for him uh, with the Global Smash Buga you know, that like went viral you know, worldwide, did numbers yeah. and stuff. And uh, he's been shutting down different locations. He's been on tour almost all year. The Afro Classic <laughs> tour, Nigeria, Africa. No, he's not done Nigeria yeah, yet. Nigeria Africa, yet. the US, the yeah, UK, UK, and like a lot of you know, other Africa countries, other right. you know, other regions. Uh, he's also you know at some point Skibi came out to say that Kizani on a winch. Too bad. Love the, the new one, one. Buga the land. land. And the new one he was talking about is this jam right here. Are I'll be rich like, like that. Hey, you I think that this song is going to be as big or bigger than a buga? I don't think so. I don't think so. I, don't think so. I, I, I know it's a nice jam. I've, to, yeah. I've listened to the stupid. But then, will it be as big as bigger? No, I don't think so. Mm. You know, there's, there's that thing about when you drop something that's amazing. Yeah. And then you're under pressure yeah. to meet up to that thing. And then mm-hmm. most of the time, you don't meet it. Mm. You don't meet it. Because mm. kiss, kiss is still young. You still have like a lot of years ahead of you. Yeah. He most likely will do a bigger song. But the fact that he, he, the fact that he brought out this one and he thought about will he meet that one? I think he would. Mm. I think at the moment, probably just need like a long take off, like just trying new new stuff. Mm-hmm. Because I'm sure even in his mind, he probably didn't know Buga would be that song. Actually, I'm sure. So he just just be doing stuff, just do stuff, just do stuff. There's mm. this one you will drop again that will eat it. Yeah, but RTID, nah, I don't think. So. Anyways, Vado has said I'm not, I'm not dropping RTID no more. Uh, he was supposed to drop. And he said, nah, I'm moving into November. Yeah, yeah. And then after then we saw the house, you know, by the water and everything, glass house. Money good. Money good, bro. Money good. I'm nice with you, Money bro. good, man. Money good. Anyways, <laughs> uh, <laughs> why are you laughing? you talk about? Ah, money good. <laughs> money good. Oh, I posted a couple of snippets about you no know, a new song dropping. Cough. Or do, do. Uh, that one collaboration with Empire. I remember the one of earlier in the year I said, "In a talk, if I cough, na go buy him. I don't cough." Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. That was even supposed to drop before Buga. Before, yeah. But then they drop Buga, and then see, we thought, okay, they don't leave Odo, and then post the RCID, and mm. then back to you know Odo. Odo. Odo has dropped now. A lot of people have been you know sharing their thoughts, sharing their you know expressions mm-hmm. about the song. Uh what do you think about the song after listening to it? Ah. I, for me, I, I feel like I will talk about two parts of the song. One, I like the fact that when you drop a song, you put something that will, you leave something that people would naturally vibe to. Mm. And that's why you see most of the time they do song, drop dance step with mm. it, so that if you're not singing the song, you're dancing this for another song. Yeah. So in a, in, a, in a way, when someone sees you dancing, your that dance to a new song, like ah, no, the dance shakti too. Song, so yeah. the song still sick, it still sits in your head and mm-hmm. everything. I think he has already done that. But and then this dance is so easy. It's only like Andy can like, dance it. It's only if you are Abuke, anybody can dance that thing because I see those, yeah, those do and check your bum and everything. So uh, I think you got that one right. And then uh, the song. <laughs> and then the song, the song is, like, is, really, is really nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe. Um, I, I feel like it was a lazy song. Mm. True. I feel like it was a lazy song, not to effort. No, there, was, there, there, there was no effort as, as I thought you would. Mm-hmm. But in the first place, Kizani has never done, I, I think aside Buga, aside Buga, I feel like most of his songs are really not complex songs. They're just songs that anybody can sing Easy, and relate catchy. to. Yeah. Just yeah. that he has a way of making it look, he has a way of making it sit with you well. Yeah. And that's what he has done with this one. Buga, there's nothing, I mean, um, Cobb, there's nothing too epic about it. Mm-hmm. But Naba will do a better writing right up than this. But mm-hmm. then what he has done is the fact that he has made it in a way that 
you just have no choice to survive to it. Mm. And he has amazingly done well with that. A, one. A, lo- a lot of thoughts on Twitter, a lot of people you know come in here and they're saying different things. And you know, some of the things people have said is that uh the the efforts, like you mentioned, you know, on, on the song cough is not really, really impressive. Yeah. Uh the songwriting is just there. Yeah, like yeah. the lyrics are just you know scattered over the places <laughs> and everything. Do you think Kizane should have you know dropped the song at all in the first um, place? I I I think like i said it has it has it has a vibe mm. yeah so um <clears throat> i think we once had this conversation at the point where we say it's boga um finally with even or something yeah i feel like there's a need for something for the year runs out mm. yeah, because you you won't want to go to a show now because we're approaching that time of the year where bro who is who shows, is doing they don't yeah them already, they book them already. Them yeah so you want to go to a, it's, it's cool that imagine if i should go show now you can't ask fans what do you want me to play what do you want me to sing to you mm-hmm. you hear like it's different sounds actually Terminator, because they are all eat. Sure, F- F- you are. Just by a kid asking you, it will be one, Buga. Mm. It's going to be just, ah, Buga, Buga. So they, 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 there was a plenty of options for him. And I'm mm. sure he thought this one would have probably been that song. Mm. Maybe that's why he dropped this one first mm. or something. Maybe he thought this would, this would be that song. Yeah. And then making it a random thing by November, dropping RCID. Mm. So he has like options. But I think yeah, it was right for him to drop this. It was time for him to drop this one. Alrighty. So finally, before we go, is this song a hit or a miss? And uh, then what would you rate it? It. I'll give it. It. I'll give it six. Six over ten. Yeah. Give it six eight. over ten. Eight, eight. Yeah. Uh, from five, you be eating. All right. All right. You be eating. Anyways, guys, share your thoughts. Kiss Daniel's cough or door has dropped, and some um, I say some and Ducky has shared his own opinion about it. So guys, let us know what you think about Kizania's song. Is it a hit or a miss? He said it's a hit and then he's giving it a six, six. over ten. It's okay. Share your thoughts and we'll catch you on the very, very next one. Bye.